Right, good morning guys. Um, I'm just heading out to go and do some photography, but what I thought, it's quite a windy day. And obviously you know I do photo shoots out on location, so if you haven't seen the uh, wedding dress one uh, recently, there's a couple of videos. There's one sort of where we were actually shooting, and then there was sort of the finished article that I really always wanted to do. A um, bit of a throw together, it was nothing um, highly planned or anything like that and um, it's mostly shot with the drone uh, with a bit of music and everything so that's that's quite cool to watch and um, yeah so and also uh, Kira a new new friend new model uh, to start shooting with a bit more so that's good but what I wanted to do and as we get into autumn winter um, the lights a bit iffy but like today's a bit it's okay but it's quite cloudy moody windy and everything like that um, we need lighting I've got a mobile, I've got a speed light, I've got a rotor light AOS. Um, so basically, yeah, that's fine. Um, but whams, if it's windy, what's going to happen? A, 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 a tripod does work okay, but obviously you're limited with height. Uh, the other thing as well is, um, you know, a stand of some sort, like a normal studio stand, they would just fall over. Um, so I was sort of looking online and I thought, right, um, K and F concept. There we go. This is the, um, what was I saying, A1, no, that's wrong. Uh, it's basically a photography light stand. But what's really cool about it is, it's a bit like the tripods, it folds the opposite way. It comes in a bag, which is good, so obviously I won't use the box. But having it in a bag, just in the boot of my car all the time. So this is literally just gonna be in the car uh, with also a, um, a light modifier as well, which I'll show you shortly. Obviously, I'm going to put it up outside, but I'll just sort of show you in here because it's quite windy and I didn't want the, the sound to be, yeah, definitely windy. Uh, too ridiculous. Uh, you get a bag with a uh, destructions in it, as such, and a couple of Allen keys. So, if you need to tighten anything up, and they're both the same size by the looks of it, so that's good. They give you two uh, just in case you lose one, or if you just want to leave one in your camera bag and one in this bag. Um, it's also got obviously silica gel in there to stop them. Uh, getting corrosion this is it it folds the opposite way so the light stand itself not that you can see really in here i'll get outside in a minute it goes that way but you can go right down more so you can get very extra height but obviously if you're out in the the wind you're going to have it pretty level so that's going to give us a really good bit of stabilization uh with it on its lowest setting but obviously then it's still got three three levels of um height which you just unclip the things there. And um, I think it was about 50 quid, 53 pounds, something like that, or from, um, Amazon it was from. So yeah, really nicely made, it's really sturdy. I say Allen keys, you can tighten, oh, I see why you got two, because they're, they're um, threaded together. So literally you tighten up one and the other one at the same time. So yeah, uh, I like it, it's all aluminium construction, apart from these bits here are plastic, everything else is, seems to be metal. So yeah it's going to be all right so what i'm doing is i'm just going to go into our meadow or the beginning of the meadow there i'm going to set it up i'm going to put a light modifier on it it's quite windy out the gusts are sort of up to 40 45 miles an hour at the moment uh it will be dropping later so that's why i thought i'd get this done now and uh yeah should be interesting to see if it falls over just a real world test really um to see kind of what i would actually use it you know would i put a light modifier on it or just the flash uh on top so yeah let's go outside and uh See what's what, I'm gonna leave the bag and everything in here, but yeah. Hi right, guys, so I've just got it balanced on a car. <laughs> that's quite straighten up a little bit actually. Maybe that's a bit better. There we go, that's a bit more level. Um, so I've got a light modifier here, which is a Godox one. Hopefully you can hear me. And it literally just clips into place. Like so. So you can hand hold it, stuff like that, if we need to. With this, obviously I'm just gonna first click, first click, and that could be um it will sit like that. We can then go up to the full height, which is that obviously you can lift it up more. I'm 
struggling to hold this now. Bring it down a little bit. I'll rotate it. Okay. I'm going to rotate it over a leg, so and obviously, ideally, aim into the wind. Uh, and we shall see. I don't even know if that's still in shot. If it's that far. Obviously, I'm on gravel at the minute, but we might be on sand. Other other scenario could be is I put my camera bag on top, so it gives it a bit more stability. If we move it that way, so we're shooting. Uh, it's still very windy. So, not perfect. Bring that down. So, no, I have got no flash in here, so that it's filling up with air. Maybe we'll turn it more that way. Most of the times, I probably have it this high anyway. Um, so you know, roughly the same height as you, as you know, might have it a bit higher. But I mean, the gusts today are literally 40 miles an hour. So generally, I wouldn't be shooting with flash off camera at that sort of speed. But what a cool bit of kit! I mean, it's pretty good. Um, that's a real world test. I thought you know, let's, let's be realistic about it. Um, it's really compact and really lightweight. I mean. Sorry, it wasn't even Godox, this was a uh, newer um, light modifier and it's also got a, I'll pick up the thing, you can clamp your flash gun in there um, with obviously a wireless trigger or whatever, or if, you, if, you can, if your flash has got a built-in wireless trigger you don't need it, but um, you can literally adjust the head up and down, you just clamp your flash in there, works really well to be fair. Um, and then here comes the rain. So yeah. Uh, obviously 40 mile an hour gusts, which is what we've got at the minute, uh, coming from nowhere, um, that's what happens, it will fall down. I mean that's quite, so if you put, your, if I'd put my bag on there, it ain't going nowhere, it will just flex. So I just thought I'd show you guys, um, that's it, it's, I'll put the link in the description uh, below if you want to buy one of these um, things, they are really quite cool, and also for the uh, the light modifier as well it's really good and you can literally just flick the switches like so and that now goes in the boot of my car like that all tied it up and you can fold it back or whatever really cool and obviously that folds back down to hardly anything either so you can you know it's very lightweight and really easy to transport pretty stable to be fair i mean that was a massive gust of wind that literally took it over um and now the wind sort of died down but yeah real world test um, but like i say if you've got uh, your camera bag and you put it on there um it's going to be fine it's not really going to go anywhere if you if you put it on the right corner if as such so yeah really really cool bit of kit um, much better than a normal uh sort of light stand really so i just thought i'd show you guys just a couple of little details the clamps there just easy easy clamps and then you've got these ones here ones that say KNF Concept on uh, and uh, yeah just really cool there is a cheaper version um, which you actually got two for the same price as this one I'm glad I bought this one um, just it's a bit heavier duty and um, obviously you can go right low on it on the legs there so uh, much much better uh, design and yeah so anyway I shall see you soon